Boy, James Bond just can't catch a break, can he? All right, so just fair warning, I'm going to do this uh, video in two parts. Uh, the first half, I will keep it very spoiler-free and just do a little rant on spoilers in general. Uh, then at some point, I will talk about the plot points that were revealed, but I'll make it really clear when I'm going to start talking spoilers, so don't worry. Uh, before I start, big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys for always being there. And by the way, uh, I launched something new uh, for my Patreon supporters. Uh, I think you'll get a kick out of it. You'll you'll see videos showing up here soon what that is. Uh, but if you're curious, uh, go to my Patreon uh, page. There's a video basically talking about something I would like to launch. Uh, we're going to do that really soon. And again, I think you'll really enjoy it. So if you want to be part of it, uh, become a Patreon supporter. And uh, again, check it out. Uh, I think you'll really get a kick out of this one. All right. So... What did James Bond do to piss these people off? Uh, I mean, holy smokes. I mean, it is one thing to report on the fact that spoilers had been revealed. Uh, it's another thing to put it in your story what those plot points are to spoil it for anyone who wants to see the film and be surprised. It's another thing altogether to put it in your headlines. Really? Holy smokes. I mean, just look at these headlines. Look at how much blurring I had to do to try to keep the spoilers from being revealed. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, if you just go to your usual news outlets, go on social media, you, you it was hard to miss. If you made it this far and you still haven't heard what the actual rumors are, I, good for you. Uh, but good Lord, I mean, that's, I, that's just unbelievable. That is a disgrace. Uh, that goes for the news outlets, people on social media, and uh, YouTube creators. If you're watching a YouTube creator who puts the spoilers in his headlines and on his thumbnail, you're following the wrong people. I mean, that that's just awful. It, it's one thing to be critical uh, and have concerns about where the franchise is going. I can totally understand that. But, I mean, there are people who just criticize and criticize and still call themselves fans. I mean, if, you, if you're if you married and you tell people, oh, I love my wife, but I but I criticize her constantly because I want her to be the best her. Yeah, that's not going to fly. That doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. Uh, so if, you, if you're just relentlessly critical and negative of James Bond, I, 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 I'm i sorry. You're not a fan. It's, that's ridiculous. Um Having said that, I mean, this is a whole different level. I mean, this is this is just somebody shouting out the punchline when you start telling a joke. Um, so it's it's just ridiculous, and it's it's an assault on fans. It is pure and simple. It's an assault on fans, so don't tell me you're a Bond fan if you're passing this around. Um, if you're making this very public and spoiling it for people, you're not a fan. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is, but I guess now I'll move on to the actual spoiler part. Of um, of this, uh, so if you don't, if you've managed to be spoiler free this this far, and you don't want to know what what's been revealed, end the video here. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're if you're up for it, let's talk spoilers. So by the way, I won't lie, I, I kind of have shot and reshot this video several times because I keep kind of get off on very long tangents. Um, so I'll try to keep it pretty concise. Uh, there's a lot of things that were revealed. As you know, uh, call sheets were put on eBay and they're very revealing. Um, there's two major plot points that I want to talk about. Uh, the first one, Bond is a father. Um, now, this does have some foundation in Ian Fleming in the later novels. Uh, Bond did bear a child. Uh, it's It was towards the end of Fleming's life. He didn't uh, live long enough to sort of follow this through. So um, th there, there's, it's, it's very speculative what happened, what might have happened. Raymond Benson also touches on this, uh, takes it a little bit further. Um, listen, it's a, it's a real life I mean, it's reality. I mean, people father children, and and it's almost kind of comical that 
Bond has been, you know, as freewheeling as he's been and not father to child at this point. Uh, so, I mean, it, it is sort of a logical next step. And they're drama wise, I mean, in terms of good writing, there are certainly things that can be explored with this. Uh, that's the that's the silver lining part of me talking. The the reality is it's a bad move. It's a bad move, pure and simple. Uh, for several reasons. One is it is it's just it's counterintuitive to this character. Um, but the bigger problem is the future of the franchise. What would this mean going forward? Uh, which leads me directly to the second point. Bond gets killed off. Now, let me just tell you, it's taken me several tries to record this part so far because uh, there's so much to unpack that I, I keep going off on these tangents and I can't keep it under 20 minutes. I mean, this is, <laughs> I mean, you can't get bigger than this. Uh, so where to begin? Uh, first of all, I, I did doubt that this would happen. Other people predicted it. Scott predicted it. He said they're going to kill off James Bond because other franchises are doing it. Um, I said that's a good point. I hear what you're saying, but I just can't imagine they're going to kill off the Golden Goose. Uh, but it looks like they're more than happy to. Um, yeah, again, where to begin with this? First off, um, it, look, maybe they maybe they are going to kill off the Golden Goose and they don't mind because maybe the filmmakers are, just, are exhausted and maybe they want to retire and they want to do it in a way that they can officially say there is no Bond 26 because Bond is dead. Um, yeah, maybe. Listen, I guess, I guess, because, I mean... The, I mean, the filmmakers are obviously exhausted. Uh, it takes them years to to do a Bond film. I mean, a five-year gap with no legal issues, possibly going on a six-year gap, possibly. Uh, I mean, there's no there's no excuse for that. I mean, you have to just be so sick of doing Bond that you just don't want to do it. Um, to let half a decade go by without doing anything. Um, so, yeah, and, and are they trying to sell it? Well, maybe not. Maybe they don't care to sell it. Maybe they're comfortable now and you know they just want to go out with a blaze of glory and what better way to do it than to kill off the character and really just seal the lid on it um but again yeah i think it's a bad move i i, I really do think it's uh, first of all and again this is where i get off on these tangents character wise it is as far from the bond character as you can possibly get James Bond has always found a way to save the day and go off into the sunset with a pretty lady on his arm, relatively unscathed. And now we're going to do the polar opposite of that, where, where Bond has to self-sacrifice and kill himself, etc. Um, I think it's just a shocking betrayal of the character, if that's the case. Um, some might argue, but this, this, this is Daniel Craig's Bond. That's not really James Bond anyway. It's sort of this new incarnation. Well, fair enough. Um, Others might say, no, 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 this is exactly James Bond. He would do whatever it took to, to complete the mission and save the... Yeah, I get that too. But again, the writers have always found a way to make Bond save the day without needing to self-sacrifice, etc. Um, so again, this is a, a, a very deep betrayal of what this character has always been. Plus, this is just so unoriginal. I mean, Eon constantly looks at other franchises to see what they're doing, and then they just mimic that. Scott and I just did our Skyfall review, and we talked at length about how they somebody saw The Dark Knight, and they just decided, let's do that. So it's just a retelling of The Dark Knight. You had Logan. Logan has a daughter. Logan must self-sacrifice. He dies at the end so she can go on to live. Avengers Endgame, Iron Man has a daughter. Iron Man must self-sacrifice at the end so he can save the world and the daughter can go on to live. Uh, so, all right, so now Eon just saw that and says, let's do it again here. I, I mean, is there any other way to say it than that? Uh, you know, am I being too harsh? I, I don't know how you would argue that that's not exactly what this is. They saw it in other, other films. We have to do it here. Um, and again, it's just it's just so unfaithful to this character. I just I just and I don't know how how else to say it. Um, you know, it just is what it is at this point. I guess I'll leave it at that. I mean, I just wanted to, I, I, you know, I said to myself, am I going to do a video on this? Well, how am I not going to do a video on this? I mean, it's the biggest news to happen to Bond in quite a while. So 
I mean, we got to talk about it, I guess. And and again, I hate being down and negative about what's happening or what we can look forward to. But you know, if there's any silver lining, again, Bond will continue somehow, some way. Uh, maybe this run of 25 films is sort of the conclusion of what started with Cubby Broccoli and Harry Saltzman. Uh you know, maybe that era of Bond is over. But I think Bond is going to go on. I mean, at this point, you've got streaming services that are clamoring for content. There's no way that the character of James Bond will just sit on a shelf somewhere, you know, with no interest. It's just not possible. Uh, so what happens after this is still anybody's guess. Uh, maybe someone will pick it up, uh, want to make, continue to make blockbuster films. Maybe somebody will pick it up and want to do a series with James Bond. Maybe they'll go back to the novels. Maybe they'll be period films like we've kind of talked about. Uh, somehow, some way, Bond will go on. And then, of course, we'll be talking about whether or not we think that the new owners understand Bond and uh, respect Bond enough to do good material with it. Uh, so maybe that's what these videos will be, you know, in a couple of years where we're talking about... Uh, you know, the new incarnations of Bond, etc. Maybe there'll be multiple. Maybe you'll have blockbuster films and, you know, a, a more subdued series to watch on TV. Um, so anyway, regardless, James Bond will go on. What it looks like at that point, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, m maybe this is all, maybe we'll all wake up tomorrow and find out that the the, uh, the call sheets that are on eBay are all fake and it's all phony and maybe we're going to get a great Bond film with a great ending, etc. You know, but at the end of the day, I mean, the fran this, this Bond 25 is going to end. Uh, Craig's run is going to end. So maybe the significance is not as dire as I'm making it out to be. Um, what do you think? What do you think about this? Put comments below. Isn't that what we're supposed to say? Put your comments below and, you know, maybe I'll do another one following up with all the comments and talking about what it all could possibly mean. Uh, are there other theories about what this actually uh, is going to be? Um, thanks for watching. This is your good buddy, Head of Section. Thank you for watching as always. By the way, reminder, go to my Patreon page. Uh, I think, again, something to kind of take our minds off of, of what's going on, something fun. So check that out and uh, learn more about it. Uh, this is your good buddy, Head of Section Joe Darlington, signing off. And as always, keep living like James Bond. Keep your chin up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Talk to you soon.